So I had somebody ask about how to build this interaction in PowerPoint. And um, when we look at it, this is actually built in Storyline. And uh, what you get with Storyline that you don't get with PowerPoint is uh, more advanced interactivity. So when you think of interactions, you generally have a click interaction, a mouse over interaction, or dragging interactions. And in this case, you can see there's some uh, mouse over interactivity. And when I click on this, uh, you can see how these tabs change. And there's kind of like a um, selected state on these. So we don't necessarily have the logic in PowerPoint uh, to build the exact same thing. But I can show you how we can build this in PowerPoint. And then I'll also uh, make the template available for free. So let's go ahead and open up PowerPoint, which I have here. So if we look at the interaction, let's go back. Let's look at the interaction. It's really pretty basic, right? So what do we have up here? We have a shape uh, with some text in it. Uh, these are just kind of some design embellishments, but these are just shapes with with um, text and, and different you know color schemes and all that to it. It's like a gradient background here, kind of like a slight radial or spotlight type background. And then these are really just, I um, mean, you take away the pictures, these are just rectangles. And this is a rectangle, and this is a rounded rectangle. Uh, in terms of coloring, it's kind of like an off-white and kind of lighter gray. Uh, you've got little quotations, and this is gray with a, a light gray in there as well. So what we'll do is we'll create the structure for it, and you'll see uh, how to do that in PowerPoint. So the one thing is I know in this case I have four tabs. So I'm going to create four slides, or actually I'll create five slides because I'll have a starting place and then from the starting place I can click on each tab because I believe if we look at the interaction here, if we refresh this, um, you can see it's actually kind of got a start place and then I can click on a tab and then I've got this. So we'll, we'll create a start um, slide and then we'll also create uh, the four tab slides. So what we're going to do is let's build the structure first and then we'll build out the graphics. So I'm going to go ahead. I know I'm going to have uh, five slides. So I'm going to go into outline just because it's going to be easier for me. So first thing I'm going to do is I'll just, this will be our start. And don't worry about the text over here. So this will be our start. And then what we're going to do is we have uh, tab one, tab two, tab three, and tab four. Now I create these because I actually want to work on the master slide. So I want to create my blank slides first and I want to title those. So just doing that from outline view helps. And then that gives me the blank slides and then I can begin to put all of the uh, structure and the hyperlinking and all that to that. So what we want to do now is let's go into the um, master view. So I'm going to hear my slides. Uh, first thing I want to do is change my layouts. And so I, I have the tabs labeled, but I don't want to use the tab titles in this particular case. So I'm just going to move them off screen. Uh, or um, actually what we can do is we can just keep the tab titles. We'll just we'll incorporate the title into the actual um, tab structure. So let's go ahead and keep this the way it is. Let's, let's go to slide view. I have a shortcut up here. So we're going to go slide, slide master. And I want to build out my uh, tab. So I'm going to use this one, get rid of the blank stuff. So I'm just going to use this title only. And so the first thing we know is we've got the tabs, um, or we've got that little bar up on top. So let's go ahead and just accommodate the bar there so we can, um, we can work with our title. So I'm going to just insert a shape. And we'll just take that across the screen. It's a little smaller. We don't want it to hog up all of our space. I'm going to send this to the back. And what I'm going to do is just move this up here. And I'm going to make the font smaller. And I'll make it white. And what I'm also going to do is move it over here and make it right justified. And then you can change the fonts and color scheming and all this. Now, I like to use the color scheming um, because then I can customize my colors, which you'll see when we're done with this. So I'm going to change my outline. So no outline. And I've just got my solid uh, color here. And um, then the other thing I want to do is start creating my tabs. So in this case, I've got four tabs. So I'm just going to create four 
tabs. And then I've also got my um, thing that goes on top, which is going to be my content screen. So, right, so we've got a tab, we've got our content screen, and we could uh, leave some space for this. I'll uh, I'll just build out the tabs interaction. If you want to add this, you can do that yourself. So uh, let's go ahead and um, come back here. Let me let me delete this. We'll we'll start from scratch here. So let's let's um, add a little um, title thing here. I'm just going to add one, so then you can you can do what you want to with it. And I'm going to edit the points, and I'll do something like that. So now you've got kind of a title area. Uh, we'll. We'll fill that with black here and get rid of the outline. All right. And so you can do what you want to with that. So now let's go ahead and create our tabs. So we got four tabs here. Make them a little longer. So I'm just going to duplicate those. So I've got my four tabs. If you want to make sure they're lined up, select them all, go to arrange, align, and then do a vertical distribution. That'll make sure they're all kind of equally spaced. So I've got my tabs. I think in this case they were all um, kind of off-white, so we'll we'll do that uh, when we get to it. Now I'm going to create my shape, and the shape that's sitting on top of the tab kind of look like this, right? And this right here is um, a little off-white as well, and, and if you notice, it's also got this strong shadow. So we're going to go ahead and build that. So let's go ahead and Let's just fill this with a little, we'll just fill it with white. We're going to do no outline on it. And then we're going to put a really draw, strong shadow. So we're going to do shadow effects. And um, we'll do that. I can, I can play with the shadow effects. If I right click, choose the format shapes, you can see all your properties. We're going to go to shadow and we're going to make this. Um, we can play around with the transparency here, and we can make the size of the shadow a little larger, maybe a little bit more blur to it, and then we can make it a little bit more transparent. So we want it subtle, but not too strong. Now this right here, the tabs themselves are all going to be white, right? So let's go ahead and make those white. Now we don't see them yet because of the background, so let's get rid of the outlines. Now let's go ahead and change the format, the background. So I'm going to right click, choose Format Background. That opens up this. I can choose a gradient background, which we're going to do. Now I'm going to work off of the same blue. So you can see it already kind of created a background. We'll go with Radial. And then um, I'll actually just keep this. If you want to change it, you can do that. Um, you can see you've got your steps here. You just change the color and you can select uh, one of these colors. Here, but we're going to go ahead and go with uh, we're going to work from these blues that are in here. And the reason we're going to do that, if I go ahead and hit close on this, if I change my my design scheme here, let me let me get out of this. If I change my design scheme, you'll notice that it's going to change the colors. So when I choose different colors, you can see how the colors adjust. So that's why we're going to stick with that blue. So you can always create your custom color scheming in there. So now what we need to do is just create our hyperlinking. And I'm going to go back to Slide Master. Um, we know this one right here needs to hyperlink to tab one. This hyperlinks to tab two to those slides. So I'm just going to select my box. If I right click, I can choose hyperlink. And then I just want to go to a place in this document, in this case, tab one. Now, what I can also do is um, select the object, hit control K, and that opens up the box. So that goes to tab two, control K, that goes to tab three, control K, that goes to tab four. And now we've got our hyperlinked tabs. Um, then you can put stuff on here. So if you want to put pictures and whatnot on here, I'll just put a shape on here. Let's say you wanted these to be filled with pictures. You know, you can you can create a little square, put it in here, put your picture in there. The other thing you could do is you can make your tabs a little longer to accommodate more content. 
Now what we don't have is the rollover capability. So what we do have those, we have the hyperlinking and interactivity. So let's go ahead and go out of Slide Master. And we want to test this. Um, first thing we need to do is make sure that all of these have the same uh, layout. So I'm going to select all the slides. So I'm going to go to my layout and you can see I've got that here. So I'm going to select that. So all the hyperlinking here should work. And the way we can test that is by looking at the titles up here. So let's go ahead and we'll just uh, preview it in reading view. So let's see. You can see as I click um, all the tabs are working. So I get that dynamic work. Now the reason I put this on the master slide is because at the master slide if I want to change something I can change it once and it's applied across the board if, if you're using the layout. If I did this individually at each slide level it's going to take a lot longer to do updates. But this essentially is that tabs interaction. The only difference here is if we get out of it is I need to start putting contact on here or content. So in this case I've got you know some pictures and text and that's easy enough to do and then I've got my content so let's say I want to do this little gray box on here how would I do that I just come in here do a rounded rectangle um, I think it's probably just partial here right and then I'm going to make this slightly light gray and I'll do the outline will be a nudge darker so there's my box. Now this box actually is the same across all of these, right? So I've doesn't matter what I click on, the box is basically the same. So I can put that on my master slide as well. So let's go ahead and grab that. Make it a little smaller so I have more headroom. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to control X, take it off here. Come to my slide master, control V. So now I've got the, the box on there. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these because I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. I'm going to close that. So now I've got content here, right? Uh, or I've got my tabs. I've got everything set up. The only thing I need to do is add my content. So let's do this. Let's say when I click on a tab, I want to make it seem like that tab is active. So if you look at this right here, when I click on a tab, I get a, a state change on the tab so I can tell which tab I'm on. So let's say I want to do that in PowerPoint. The way I could do that is let me come over here. I'm on tab one. I can take that box I copied and I can do this. So then it looks like the tabs on top, right? So if I go to two, I can take that and drag it down here and then it's over here. So then it looks like it's lifted off the page and then I can um, come to this one, do the same thing. I'll just drag it down and we'll go to four and drag it down. So now I've got a visited state. And if I wanted to, you know, I could actually make all the original tabs a little darker, which I'm actually going to do. So this way I've got these tabs. I'm going to recolor though. So I'm going to go to format. Now right now they're colored white. I don't want them necessarily light gray. Um, Although, you know, that actually works. I'm going to keep them light gray. So if I get out of this, you can see there's a very clear distinction as I go through the tabs. And then it's just a matter of putting content on here. So when we look at this, I have, actually I'm going to get rid of this black thing too because I don't like that black thing up here. So you've got a place to put a branded element or titles or whatever you want to put in there. But when you actually look at the uh, tab interaction itself. It's all on the master slide, right? And then um, they're in your layout. So once you apply it, the hyperlinking all works because they're linked to specific slides. When we actually look at this, it works. Right? So it looks like little tabs interaction. I've got a visited. I've got a selected state so I can see it's a little bit different than the other ones and the interactivity works. Then it's just a matter of putting content on there. So if you're using uh, Articulate uh, Presenter, for example, I can insert, let's say I insert a photographic character. You can just take uh, one of these characters here. We'll take Atsumi. You know, I've got her here. I want, I want to get one of those poses where it looks like she's um, there, right? We'll just take one of these. 
So I can put her here and maybe over pull her out a little so she's kind of hanging off the box. That's kind of what we see here, right? So she's hanging out of the box. So there you go. So you've got your tabs interaction. Uh, you've got the interactivity. It all starts at the master slide. So you build out your blank slides and then hyperlink to them. And then you've got a nice uh, tab here. And then you've got your character. And I'm going to clean that up for you. I'll put the character on all there. All you'd have to do is right click and change picture and put your own uh, characters on there. And then add your content and you're all set. And then same thing with the titles. You can change the titles here and that'll change them up here. So you've got a nice little starting interaction and um, hopefully you can use that. Now one last thing is if you use that the color scheming you can come up here and you can add a new color scheme and you can see how you can make uh, your tab look a little bit different. The um, other thing you can do is create your own theme colors and then you just apply you know the colors so they match and then when you change the color themes to match yours uh, you'll have an interaction that works for you. And since these are neutral here that probably doesn't really matter and then these colors can actually be part of your color branding. Hopefully that helps.